Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm at 185th and uh, Burnside in uh, near Gresham, outside of Portland. And I'm at uh, Taqueria Mimole, and I'm going to be painting some uh, bueno comida. <laughs> they want a big thing across this front part here. It says panuchos, because that's something they say a lot of people don't carry. Anyway, first thing I gotta do is wash off this atrium here. So I'm gonna be painting panuchos up here, probably in red and green and white, the colors of the Mexican flag. All right, I'm gonna go and wash this off and get started. Went ahead and bought me a new one of these. These are great. And I'm here at uh, Taqueria Mimole. I'm gonna be paint panuchos up here on the atrium. Bueno comida. I picked me up some new rollers. Sometimes I go months and months without getting new ones, but it's nice when I get the new ones. All right. All right, I'm up on my step ladder. I want the top to come about here because I think visually that's the best way. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the P here. And you want to kind of take up as much room as you can. Don't leave it don't leave that much space on the side when you're doing atriums like this. One good coat of white's fine, because as we know, it doesn't matter if the sun gets the white, because white don't fade. So just kind of roll it out, take your time, and or if you want to draw it out too, that's fine. When you know, when I first started, I'd chalk it out, draw it out. I didn't just come up here and just start whipping out on it. It takes time. It's a little strange painting on a curve, but not really too bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get down, step back and see how that looks like. All right, from the road it looks pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in here and uh, yeah, that fits right. That's visually uh, appealing and about as good as it's going to get. painting and I'll do an O and people will rush out and they'll be saying that's a typo that's a typo you know it's not panuo it's panuchos and then I go like that I think it's funny all right I got panuchos here and I'm gonna do a pepper coming right down and I want to get his face above the top so I'm gonna take the top of his head or the sombrero up high. So we're gonna, because I want his face right here.
yeah that reads pretty good it looks pretty nice from the road and then over here on this side right there on these two because this has got eight letters and I've got 11 windows so it's a little bit off so I'm gonna put a, a pepper here with a face on it jumping up going across both windows little breeze came up I sure don't mind that it kinda cools it down a little sometimes when I do blends like this I will tape the window so I can go right up to the mullion and I don't have to worry about see about getting it on there it makes it easier so I can push right up against it it's totally fine And then when you're done, you just peel that off. Like so. You're good to go. Okay, I'm moving along. I got this uh, mole on each side. On one side, different characters. On this side, I've got a, a hand pointing. It's going to say Entrada. Since I did that at the other store, I thought it would be cool to have it here. Just something to attract attention. And then the other side here, by the drive through got a couple of big pair of eyes. Then over here, on their north door, i got a guy holding a taco. Kind of like this store I did in Salem. The Mercado San Francisco. But uh, it's a little bit different. Tacos, yeah, well, it's still pretty big. And the guy is totally different face. He's facing the camera more and he's got his tongue up like, Mmm, bueno comida. <laughs> All right, moving along. I got her done. I got this whole front done. Cochinita pibil. Panuchos, tacos. Buena comida. We got this guy here. The lighting's kind of sucks, so you can't see it really good. And some of it's in shadow. And then over there they wanted to add bienvenido, so I did that really quick. That took about five minutes. And then, I wish I could get a better shot of all this, but it's a, just the lighting. And then here I've got a hand that says Entrada Mo, Mole. 
and then uh, all I got left is this guy. I got to do some highlights and shadows and outline them in black, and I'll be done. I should probably walk out to the street and get a shot of it. It's pretty hot today. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it from out here. That looks cool. Panuchos, buena comida. Cochinita, bibio. And then on this side, we got the big eyeballs, say mole. Bienvenidos on the door. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The tacos doesn't stand out real bright, but I thought it'd be good contrast with the cochinita pibil with the, the blend. The sun lady came out good. And over here I have entrada, mole, and then this guy. I'd already take a shot of him with the GoPro though, probably. Anyway, okay, now I'm officially done. <laughs> Have a great night, stay creative, keep painting. Keep learning, learning stuff. I'm learning all kinds of stuff right now too. Sculpting, bye. <laughs>